What's going on guys? Max the Melonhead here, bringing y'all another little skate video. Um, today, you know, it's just a chill Sunday afternoon. I'm over in New Paltz, New York, where my girlfriend lives for the weekend. Uh, I'm gonna go to one of my favorite little curb spots around here. It's at the local middle school. Kind of a bust on the weekdays, I think, but on the weekends, there's really no one here, so should be a fun time. Uh, gonna try to get some 50-50s, uh, some nose slides, um, and maybe work on my pop shove -its. So yeah, I just wanna take you guys along for a little vlog style, skate, street, whatever you wanna call it, you know? So yeah, let's go do this thing, walking up to the spot now. All right, so as you can see, there's a nice little ride on grind here. Nice little spot for slappies as well. Um, I de I've never waxed or buttered this spot up. Um, it was like this when I found it a couple months ago when I first started coming here, but this ledge just slides so good. You know, it's been lacquered, it's been waxed, probably ridden for years. So really love this spot, love it for ride on grinds. You know, I can't really ollie into 50-50s yet, so this is some good practice. Good little ledge for no slides, stuff like that. And yeah, just a chill little spot. A lot of good flat ground, a um, couple little mani pad type things and yeah we're just gonna have fun here today and see what we can do all right guys just gonna warm up a little flat ground before i start hitting these curves let's do it I just gotta say guys, that is the biggest curve that I've ever ollied up by far. That is crazy. I didn't think I was even gonna make it up. I've been practicing my ollies a lot, as you could tell from the last video with the planks. And yeah, I just made it up the biggest curve I've ever done. So this is super exciting. Let's get some, let's get some more. Guys, I am beyond pleased with this progress, you know? 
ledges are going to be next, let's hope. Start alling into 50-50. So much is being unlocked right now, and I'm just beyond excited. But with that being said, uh, it's time to get to this slappy curve for a little bit, hit some grinds. So let's do that now. a 50-50 and then come out tail bonk off. I'm gonna give a few of those a try. Okay, quick little story, um, like a week and a half ago, I accidentally did something like this um, when my wheel got hung up on a different curve, came down right on my hip and like could not skate really at all for like two days, like very well, it was just, like intense pain. So a little sketched out, but I'm gonna try a few more of that. All right. I can feel how the trick works. I just need to start working on tail slides in general more, tails, bonks, all that. Cause like I never do any type of slappy tail slides or anything. It's always with the nose. So something to work on in the future. Just gonna hit a couple more 50-50s so we can get this session moving on. I can maybe try either some pop shove or some slappy nose slides next to end the video. So yeah, one more try, just another little 50-50. Well, I went into feeble accidentally. Let's give that another try. Ooh. Hey, that was kind of that was kind of close to what we were going for. Um, I'll have to look and see if the tail tapped at all. But hey, I'll end with that one, and we can get this thing going uh, to the next thing. So yeah, probably gonna do some pop shove its now. All right, so pop shove are like the newest flat ground trick that I've been landing and learning. So I don't know, I'm not consistent with them yet, but I'm starting to get better and better. My goal right now is maybe to get four. If I could land four clean ones, then I'll be pretty happy. So, you know, let's just see what happens. Oh, almost. Gotta, gotta scoop a little more. Oh, little primo almost. Hey, it happens, it happens. foot I always tend to like catch this trick with my back foot and then it's harder to stay balanced and it slips out so a lot of people have told me really try to like leave your front foot lower and just catch with it as quickly as possible and then bring the back foot on but it's just it's more natural when I bring the back foot on first which is not necessarily a good thing so I got to break that habit uh, as soon as possible I, I kind of went on my back foot again, almost slipped out. Not, not good. Oh. 
take that one. We'll take that one. Okay, let's keep it going. Ooh, that had some height to it. I'm not gonna lie. You know, it was a little sketchy catching it, but I'll take it. I'll take that too. Almost. Hey, we hung on, we hung on, you know. I, I take anything I can get with Pop Shovitz right now, so that's a win for me. Woo! A little sketchy, but you know, if you feel it coming, you just gotta kick it away, kick it away, and then you know, you're not gonna end up in your ass, you know, maybe sometimes. All right, let's just get one more pop shove it. I said we were trying to go, the goal was four. Let's get one more and then we'll wrap this video up for today. That might be one of the cleanest pop shove it's I have ever done. Um, and that was not edited, that was the very next try. So I think I'm gonna end on that one for today. Uh, I think this was a good little sesh. Got over the biggest curb I've ever gone over, uh, ollieing onto. Um, Got some decent 50-50 work done and landed a few clean pop shove -its. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, you know, coming along with me on my little Sunday off, skating around at one of my uh, favorite local spots. And I'm going to keep putting out content like this. Uh, you can like and subscribe. Uh, and hopefully, you know, you'll catch me on the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.